She got her own house. She got her own house. She got, she got, she got, she got, she got her own house. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. So I originally had planned to um, upload another video. You guys may have already seen it set to premiere, but I got some breaking news. So I wanted to go ahead and get you guys the updates for the NACA program for August, 2021. So let's talk about it. Okay, family. So I got some breaking news hot off the press that I am going to save until the end of the video. So be sure to stick around for that. Um, but the video that was originally supposed to be uploaded today will be still uploaded next week if you were expecting that, just FYI. Uh, but I literally am at home right now on my lunch break recording this video so that I can get it out today for you guys because it is some pressing news. But before we get into the NACA program updates, I did want to give everyone an update on my Dr. Horton situation. Literally right after I uploaded the video about them, they responded to my BBB complaint. So let me um, let you guys know the latest and greatest from them. So in the event that you don't remember my last response to Dr. Horton, let me go ahead and recap it here. So I let them know, I said, I'm rejecting this response because the proposed alternate plan mentioned is to bully me into using their lender, even though I was told initially by my DR Horton sales representatives that their corporate, aka Amy Clausen, would allow me to use my own lender on a traditional new build. Me using DHI would result in a significantly higher interest rate as well as a significantly larger down payment. I will happily submit an offer today if D.R. Horton honors the initial agreement with me stated on May 26, 2021 and allow me to proceed with my lender that I've informed D.R. Horton that I was using since April 10th of 2021 and it's never been mentioned by my D.R. Horton sales representative to be a problem until every time it's time for me to get under contract. So it took them about a week to reply back to me. And so they finally replied back to me last week. I was trying to wait and give them a chance to respond back to my response. But it's been another week now and they haven't yet. So I'll go ahead and let you guys know where we stand up until now. So they responded to that by saying, the customer is not and has not ever been required to use DHI Mortgage as her lender. Due to past experience with her current lender of choice, DR Horton no longer does business with that company. The customer should discuss alternate, alternate lenders with her sales representative and we welcome an opportunity to receive an offer from her. So that changed, like, because clearly in the reply from July 21st, they told me that they'd offered me an alternate plan and they welcomed me to uh, submit an offer using an alternate plan. But now they've come back and said that they no longer do business with my lender of choice, aka NACA, and that I should reach out to discuss other lenders. So of course I did not accept that. So I replied back again immediately. Okay, and so I responded. I find Dr. Horton's most recent response to me suspicious because I know someone that went under contract with Dr. Horton using my same lender only two weeks ago in Southern DFW. I would also like to know why Dr. Horton is lying in their response to this complaint when it was explicitly stated to me that I could only use my lender if I agreed to have DHI mortgage left in my contract along with my lender and have them, aka DHI mortgage, work my file simultaneously. Being told that I cannot move forward unless I allow DHI mortgage to be written into my contract is the same as being required to use DHI mortgage. And again, they have not responded to that complaint, but I would like clarity on how they are saying that they did not require me to use DHI. But in reality, you really did require me to use DHI because you told me in order to move forward, I had to have it written in my contract. So which one really is it? But anyway, let's get into these August 2021 updates. Okay, so update number one. NACA membership fees are no longer due once you close. I was under the impression, and maybe it was even in the workbook somewhere, but I need to go back and double check. But I was under the impression that you uh, were expected to keep paying your $25 per household membership fee 
throughout the life of your neck alone. But that is no longer the case. Once you close, you are um, able to move forward without that $25 per household fee. However, you must still participate five times a year. Um, that has come up recently by someone in the Facebook group that did not keep up with their participation and they went to go and try to sell their home and go back through the NACA program again. And when they called in, they were told that they needed to catch up on their participation before they would be able to move forward with the NACA program, just an FII. So if you do plan on using NACA again in the future, make sure you stay on top of your participation. Update number two, kiosk and scanners um, aka computers and scanners are available at the NACA offices for you to go and use. The offices are open. Um, they are not currently taking face-to-face -face appointments just yet, but if for some reason you do not have access to a working computer or working internet or a scanner, you are able to go into your local NACA office and use their computers and scanners to update documents and upload documents um, into your web file. Update number three, and this is a pretty big one. Um, I did re-attend the home buyers workshop a week or two ago, and I was educated that now no one, whether you're priority or non-priority, can buy down more than four to six points. Um, at first, it wasn't really clear, but we all knew that as of May the 3rd, the changes, the big changes that happened then that non-priority members would no longer be able to buy down uh, more than six points. However, it was still kind of inferred that if you were a priority member, you could still buy down your interest rate to next to zero. But now it has officially been stated by the NACA representative on the Home Buyers Workshop that you cannot buy down more than four to six points, whether you're priority or non-priority due to HOPA regulations. So everyone's situation is going to be different. Um, but from what I was told, and I think I mentioned this in one of my other update videos, that generally the more expensive the house that you purchase or mortgage that you get, should I say, um, the more buy down that you can do. Uh, I guess the longer it'll take before you trip HOPA. Uh, but I'm not very well educated on what HOPA regulations really are. So if anyone in the community knows, you can jump down in the comments and educate us all. Okay, now it's time for the breaking news. And if you didn't get a chance to watch my last breaking news video, um, I did make a separate standalone video for that because that update was so urgent. I wanted to get it out to you guys and not wait until I did this video regarding the uh, loan estimates no longer being sent out by NACA, but definitely check that out. I'll try to link it somewhere. But breaking news is as of this morning, the FFIEC geocode map has officially been updated and released with the 2021 numbers. Woo! Okay, so that could be good and bad. So if you were non-priority and you were looking in a neighborhood that was like 99.99%, there is a large, very significant chance that when you log in today to check that same neighborhood, that it could be over 100%, okay? So if you were looking at neighborhoods right on the cusp, then be sure that you go ahead and rerun those addresses to make sure that you still qualify if you're non-priority. Also, the good news is that the income went up for 2021. So the DFW 2020 income was 86,200. The 2021 income on the FFIC geocode map is um, 89,000 for DFW. So if you were barely non-priority last year for DFW, like you were, you know, between 86,201 and, you know, 89,999, then you need to get on the phone with member services right now so that you can get an appointment with the housing counselor so that you can get re-qualified and become a priority member, okay? Because that's a game changer. You'll automatically receive the better interest rate and you are not bound by the same restrictions of living in a sub 100% line number six tract.
by um, being a non-priority versus a priority. So definitely go ahead and take a look at the numbers, the 2021 income numbers, as well as line number six for the areas that you were looking at. If you do now qualify as a priority member, call immediately into member services. Um, all of my subscribers, I know you're going to watch this, so j definitely try to beat them to the punch so that you can get in sooner rather than later. Um, but that's all I have for you guys. Like I said, I am at home right now on my lunch break recording this video so that I can hurry up and edit it and get it pushed out to you guys so that you guys can go ahead and get your appointment set up. If I missed anything, I apologize, but jump down in the comments and talk about it you guys know the drill don't forget this give don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe and if you've already subscribed i appreciate it but i will see you guys in my next video it takes a village cheers